Wow, that was wild, Hannah. That, I'm seriously blown away. That was incredible. Um, you know, we started a journey with you a couple years ago, I think now. It's almost, what was it, almost close to two years? It was about, yeah, two years ago. And it is phenomenal how much you've progressed, the things you've accomplished since we first started nice. that first day. <laughs> and I, I couldn't be more proud. That is really, really great. Um, wow. So, James, hop on Hi. the mic. Um, talk to us about the recording process starting out with Hannah and kind of the decisions you made with Just You Wait. And, um, yeah. I talk think it was quite quite interesting because, obviously, before when you started, obviously, you didn't have a, no, a band just whatsoever. All, just well, on was, the acoustic guitar, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was you and your uh, your friend, I forget his name, yeah. uh, that you wrote um, it with. Yeah. And then, obviously, uh, and then... I think halfway through you then got the band didn't you i did which i think was cool because i mean uh jake who played guitar i mean and he played obviously and banjo guitar. too right and banjo yeah. and banjo <laughs> guitar was it banjo banjo guitar i mean it was i thought you know i thought the uh the synergy especially between like what was going on then with used to i thought was really really good i you know i think uh you as a singer is talented it was i enjoyed it it was super fun yeah super fun everyone got the kind of to know just the whole vibe around the song as well and i think we captured that it's got to be a hang really you know i think uh, i always say to everybody when they're in the studio studio times are boring you know so it's got to be fun it's got to be a hang but it's got to be hard work at the same time because i think like listening to uh, the songs you've released since like the growth has been brilliant you know it's gone from like there to there and every step you're getting bigger and bigger and i mean that song was fantastic Thank wow absolutely fantastic yeah <laughs> and totally different like very mm. organic rather than i'm not saying the other ones are pushed or anything like that but does that make sense when you're writing a song and it it might feel a little pushed where that yeah, one feels very organic this one you know, just it, fell out of me just <laughs> fell out of wow me. <laughs> well um i'm blown away so what else do i have to say i oh, guess wow. we've got we've got a few more tracks to play and Ooh. one thing that i did want to bring up was the really cool journey we went on with your Kickstarter. Oh, yeah. Because that was cool. You've never done any crowdfunding no. before. And I didn't really know how it was going to go. I don't think any of us did. No, no. Uh, um, so when we were doing this track, part of the idea was that you were building a following mm -hmm. and that we were going to try and get your fan base to Just help to fund the yeah, track. Some, the some guy paid to play tambourine, didn't he? Yeah. What happened with that? You know, he, knows. he never showed up. But he never this, showed up. Yeah, this is actually yeah, a really it was from uh, what's it? I, I Idaho, Ohio. Ohio? Uh, he was from America. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't think know we that. Even spoke about like he could just even record it into his phone and we would chuck it in, whatever. But yeah, never. Well, we there think you go. We just kind of said, yeah, it's fine. Well, this is a really important point to bring up because the whole point of this label lodge is we're sponsored by the association of independent music mm -hmm. as we're not the big guys we don't have big development deals and all sorts of funding for new artists this is all grassroots you know boot string budget um it's all on our shoulders to make this happen mm -hmm. and what you did was pretty phenomenal because you had no band you had no recording experience and we went in you did a kickstarter and you raised over a grand yeah, which was wild and that should be a good source of inspiration for any aspiring musicians who are listening right now who think like oh i can't do this i can't work with a real producer or go into a real studio it's too expensive how's this ever going to work you know what it 
it is on your shoulders, but if you've got the work ethic that Hannah has, the sky's the limit. I mean, it is insane that you raise that much mm -hmm. cash with no real CV no, prior to it's, that. It's funny because uh, quite a big chunk of the money did come quite late. And I think sometimes, depending obviously the time you give for your kickstart, you can pick so many days, can't That's you, or right, months. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you're kind of getting to the very end. And I think people do, they jump in at the end because they know some, if they want to be a part of it, then... I mean, it's and they want to see it succeed, especially yeah. when you're near that limit. But this is another thing, too, that um, a lot of people won't know because, you know, only a small percentage of people globally have successful Kickstarter campaigns, you being one of them. But um, I was shocked at how much of the money came from complete strangers yeah. that had, I mean, mm. they'd never heard of you. Nope. They were not friends. They were not family. They weren't uncles and, you know, schoolmates yeah. or anything or like that. they seen me live before. They just, some people, they just, yeah, they find you on, on the actual page itself. They, there was one guy and he says every month he chooses just someone. Yeah. To pay like a hundred, a hundred bucks, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. he just he goes, he cracks open a bottle of wine, and he says, "Who shall be the lucky yeah. one?" And you were. I was indeed. Wow! And if you had any advice for you know a young, emerging, aspiring artist today who's trying to make it on their own, you know, following in your footsteps, what would you tell them? What from you know all the lessons you've learned, everything you've done over the past couple of years? I'd say obviously, don't don't give up on it like there's always someone there listening like you never know any opportunity that anyone ever gives you just say yes even if you're like busking in the high street there's someone there records you tags you in it like self-promotion is is everything really so if so whatever you do get your name out there don't give up um i mean there's people as well they're so everyone likes to help each other out so especially in the country genre just reach out to someone if you think oh, I want to co-write with that person or I want to. Do you know what I mean? Just mm, just tag yeah. along, and then your name then join gets gathered with those as well. But um, everyone's really quite friendly. I think that's great advice <laughs> um, for sure. So we're gonna play another track from you. What do we have coming up? This is your second song from your EP. What's the title of this EP? Well, it, the EP is short stories. Short stories. Yeah, that's the EP because they were all kind of every song's pretty different. Um, so it was just like a collection of different stories. I like that. You know what? I get quite bored when I put on a record and like every song sounds the same and it crashes yeah. into the next song and you feel like you feel like it's just an hour of like one song. So I like dynamics and things going in different directions. And I think you've done a really good job here. And for sure, what you were talking about, James, there's been tremendous growth from that first very first recording that you ever did mm -hmm. and then working and managing and supervising a band it could be like herding kittens sometimes getting people to show up prepare you know get tight as a band you did a great job yeah, the boss. Crack the whip a bit. Yeah. that's yeah, it it, it can take the fun out of it though can't it? i think we even spoke about that you know when you're I know. when you're running the band and it's you're not a band as such but you know you're the singer and you're this the is session the thing, guys sometimes i'm not uh, that knowledgeable in music terminology but you know I you know want. what kind of what yeah. I want to hear. So sometimes with my words, I might I'm like I don't necessarily know what you need to be playing on that. But it drum, ain't that. But, yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. So <laughs> track two on short stories. What's the title of this track? Um, I think you might have L.A. on there. I'm not too. Yeah, it's L.A. Excellent. Okay, so um, let's rip into it. <laughs> 